Join me tonight as I go fishing for photons in the constellation of Cepheus. Hey folks, my name's Steve and welcome to Scotia Astro. Tonight I'm going after a challenging target known as the Shark Nebula. It's pretty faint and can be tricky to image from places with lots of light pollution, but I'm going to give it a go. My backyard here in Scotland is about a Bordel 5, so we'll see how we get on and I'll share my results at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I've chosen to image this target during the new moon phase to minimise any unwanted stray light or reflections hitting my sensor and give me as much chance as possible. Let's head outside and get set up and I'll show you the equipment I'll be using for tonight's session. I've chosen the Skywatcher Esprit 100 as tonight's scope and I'll be using it at its native focal length of 550mm, shooting at f5.5. I'll pair this with my ZWO 2600MC Pro which is an APS-C size one-shot colour camera. This combo should pull out some lovely details and they've proven to be a great partnership over the last couple of years. I'll be guiding my rig with the ZWO 30mm guide scope matched with the ZWO 290MC which will keep my mount locked on its target. All this equipment will be sitting on my Skywatcher AZ EQ6 GT Pro mount, which is attached to the rock solid Ioptron tripeer. All of this gear will be controlled from my iPad using the excellent ASI Air Pro. Links to all of the gear I use tonight will be listed in the description below the video, so go check that out. If you're enjoying my videos and want to see more of my astro adventures here in the UK, then please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification below so you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks for all your continued support, it really helps the channel to grow. I've opted not to use a filter tonight so I can take full advantage of the moonless conditions. The Shark Nebula is largely composed of interstellar gas and dust and it's known as a Dark Nebula, so hopefully I'll be able to capture the best features of it filter free. I'm really getting into imaging Dark Nebula recently so stay tuned for more examples in the future. What's your favourite Dark Nebula? Let me know in the comments below. Well the sun's going down here quickly in Scotland so I'm going to get everything set up, get everything hooked up to the rig and we'll hopefully have a productive night. See you shortly. Well folks, the clouds stayed away for most part of tonight and my shark fishing expedition was a success. I got some nice data which I'll have a look over and I'll get edited up into a final image which I'll share with you just now. Thanks again for stopping by and joining me for another astrophotography adventure from the UK. I really appreciate you all tuning in. Take care of yourself, best wishes from Scotland and clear skies to you all.